Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a dramatic design with Bird of Paradise in a triadic color harmony. The triadic harmony begins with the vivid orange of Bird of Paradise and pincushion protea, then goes to the violet of Leatris, carnations and status, and then the green of the foliages with Galix, Ruscus, Lilygrass, and Aspidistra. To create the base of the design, I started with clear glass, took a cut piece of foam, and wrapped it with the Aspidistra leaves so that this slides right down inside, concealing all the mechanics prepared for designing. The triadic harmony begins with the vivid orange of Bird of Paradise and pincushion protea, then goes to the violet of Leatris, carnations and status, and then the green of the foliages with Galix, Ruscus, Lilygrass, and Aspidistra. To create the base of the design, I started with clear glass, took a cut piece of foam, and wrapped it with the Aspidistra leaves so that this slides right down inside, concealing all the mechanics prepared for designing. To begin, the Leatris goes in first, very straight, very dramatic, right in the center, creating an axis for all the other blooms. Placing them in parallel, varying the heights to create interest, bringing some towards the front, some towards the back for depth, but keeping them all straight up and down to create that vertical line. The Bird of Paradise, I prepared ahead of time, soaking their heads, hydrating, and opening them out. If you want instruction on that, refer to the website at flowerschool.com. Then, utilizing their natural movement on the stem, I'm going to place them so that they frame my main vertical line, cutting it one direction, and then cutting it the other, creating a wedge effect, which then can go down into the container at an angle, coming up and over, looking to the inside of the design. Second one, cut a little shorter. Again, wedging it one direction, then the other direction, and then placing it in maybe a little bit shorter yet so that it looks towards the first bird of paradise, almost as though they're speaking to each other. The accent area, established with the pincushion protea, is tucked very low, right in the center, to visually anchor and draw that orange down to the base of the design. So I cut it short, remove the leaves, don't need those, and again, giving it a nice clean cut, and then placing it in, keeping it vertical, upright, but down very low, right to the surface of the foam, then repeating that with a second one, Again, removing the leaves, cutting it short, and then terracing it just slightly above the first, but keeping it upright. And then the last one, pulling your eye around to the back side, creating depth. Again, very short, wanting it right at the surface of the foam. Once you've established your lines and your accent area, finishing the design is easy because you just fill in the blanks, adding a bit of the leaves, some green of the Galix, underneath to help break the line below the pin cushion. Maybe a little bit of a carnation in the violet, tucked very low in the front to bring the Leatris color down, the base of the design, tucking it and letting it also break the line of the container and a little bit of the Ruscus, keeping it low. You don't want to get too busy and full, tucking it just to add a bit of coverage, hiding your mechanics, tucking in some status, also picking up that lavender color, maybe even let it come out to the side slightly, and then some lily grass to bring in that dynamic line, lining it up, using the back of my knife to curl it, then give it a cut just tucking it, letting it come outward, and more of the dynamic line, some beautiful curly willow can be tucked with the Leatris coming up tall and soaring above the arrangement. Mm. 
one tip we share in the Learning Center with our students is to use Vaseline Petroleum Jelly, just a little bit on your fingers, and massage that into the bird of paradise. You can see I've done it here, and I'm bringing it over here. It makes it shiny, fabulous, fresh looking, so much nicer. Now for more inspiration, more education, refer to the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach out to us there at flowerschool.com or pick up the telephone and give us a call at 503-223-8089. And of course, I love to see what you create. Take a photograph and send it to me at Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.